What's up my friends today? Just want to share real quick about speaking in tongues and it actually being an unknown tongue or a heavenly tongue or a spiritual tongue or not a human language. So I want to talk about two verses real quick just to prove this point. Romans 8 26 says, Likewise the Spirit helps our infirmities for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Also, in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, let's go there. It says, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels. That's an important word to hear. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become as a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. So, Paul is saying that when you speak in tongues, you speak in a spiritual language which cannot be understood by the human comprehension or with the tongue of angels in uh, Romans 8 26 and Corinthians 13 1 so that being said I just want to reiterate that point about tongues that it is a spiritual gift that is spiritually discerned and is of a spiritual um, understanding which is incomprehensible by the flesh so which is you know we need to think of things in a spiritual way in a, in a heavenly way we are citizens of a heavenly place not the earth this kingdom that we await is not here it is a heavenly kingdom we are citizens of another world another uh, domain in the spirit realm and it has nothing to do with what we can experience here and when we speak in tongues uh, and have received the gift we are edified because we're speaking to God in the heavenly language which is not earthly at all and it, it testifies to us in our spirit that we are citizens of a heavenly place and of God's kingdom so there you go amen